who owns Central Highlands in East Asia, Daga people or Hanoi government. The Central Highlands dispute. The Central Highlands of East Asia, encompassing a region rich in cultural heritage and natural resources, has been the center of a contentious ownership dispute. This area, primarily inhabited by the Daga people, has seen increasing tensions between the indigenous population and the Hanoi government, which asserts its sovereignty over the region. The Daga people's claims are deeply rooted in their historical connection to the land, which they have inhabited for generations, relying on its resources for their livelihoods and cultural practices. The conflict is not merely about territorial rights, it embodies broader issues of identity, autonomy, and self-determination. The Daga people argue that their unique cultural practices and social structures have been overlooked and undermined by the policies of the Hanoi government. Conversely, the government maintains that its control is justified by national unity and development goals, often prioritizing economic interests over indigenous rights. This ongoing dispute has garnered international attention, particularly as organizations like the Central Highlands Organization seek to amplify the voices of the Daga people on global platforms. Their aim is to challenge the narrative that the Hanoi government has established, advocating for a recognition of the Daga people's ancestral claims to the land. The implications of this dispute extend beyond the Central Highlands, raising critical questions about indigenous rights and government authority in contemporary socio-political contexts. As the Central Highlands organization prepares to present their case in Washington, D.C., the stakes are high. The outcome of this dispute may not only redefine the relationship between the Daga people and the Hanoi government but also influence the international community's approach to similar conflicts around the globe. In this context, Understanding the nuances of the Central Highlands dispute is essential for grasping the broader implications for indigenous rights and governance in East Asia. The Daga people, indigenous inhabitants of the Central Highlands. The Daga people are an indigenous group residing in the Central Highlands of Vietnam, a region characterized by its rich biodiversity and unique cultural heritage. Their history dates back centuries, marked by a profound connection to the land and natural resources. This enduring relationship is fundamental to the Daga identity, as their traditions, customs, and social structures are intricately woven into the fabric of this mountainous terrain. Historically, the Daga people have relied on agriculture, particularly shifting cultivation, alongside hunting and gathering practices. This sustainable lifestyle not only reflects their deep understanding of the environment but also underscores their spiritual beliefs, which emphasize harmony with nature. The Daga community celebrates numerous festivals that symbolize their agricultural cycles and ancestral worship, reinforcing their cultural identity and collective memory. Linguistically, the Daga people belong to the Austronesian language family, with their own distinct dialects that further delineate their cultural uniqueness. Oral traditions play a vital role in preserving their history, as stories passed down through generations encapsulate their struggles, triumphs, and relationship with the land. These narratives are not merely tales, they serve as a means of asserting their rights and existence as the original inhabitants of the Central Highlands. The Daga people's social structure is traditionally organized around clans, each with its leadership and customs. This decentralized governance system fosters community cohesion and collective decision-making, allowing them to maintain their autonomy and resist external pressures. However, the increasing encroachment of outside interests, including government policies and commercial exploitation, poses significant challenges to their way of life. In recent years, the Daga people's claims to indigenous rights have gained international attention. They argue that their historical presence and cultural practices entitle them to self-determination over the Central Highlands. This struggle for recognition is not just about land, it is also about preserving their culture, language, and identity in the face of modernization and assimilation. As the Daga people articulate their narrative to the world, they seek acknowledgement of their status as the rightful stewards of the Central Highlands. 
Their efforts highlight the broader issues of indigenous rights and environmental conservation, emphasizing the need for inclusive dialogues that respect the voices of marginalized communities. Understanding the Dega people's history and culture is crucial in addressing the complex dynamics of land ownership and governance in the Central Highlands, setting the stage for an informed discussion on their claims against the Hanoi government. The Hanoi government's claim. The Hanoi government's claim to the Central Highlands is rooted in various historical, legal, and political narratives that assert its sovereignty over the region. One of the primary components of this claim is the historical governance structure established during the colonial period and continued post-independence. The Vietnamese state, after the end of French colonial rule and the reunification of Vietnam in 1975, positioned itself as the legitimate authority over all territorial divisions, including the Central Highlands. The government argues that its control is justified by constitutional provisions and national laws that designate the Central Highlands as part of Vietnam's sovereign territory. According to these laws, all land within the nation is owned by the state, which can allocate land use rights to various ethnic groups, including the Dega people, under specific conditions. Consequently, the Hanoi government maintains that it has the authority to manage and govern the region's resources, asserting that development initiatives are necessary for national progress and economic integration. Additionally, the Hanoi government often emphasizes the importance of national unity and the integration of ethnic minorities into the broader socio-economic framework of Vietnam. Officials claim that the state has invested in infrastructure, education, and healthcare in the Central Highlands, which they argue demonstrates a commitment to improving the living conditions of all inhabitants, including the Dega people. However, this narrative is frequently challenged by the Dega people's assertion of their indigenous rights and historical connection to the land. They argue that their cultural and spiritual ties to the Central Highlands predate the establishment of the modern Vietnamese state. In contrast, the Hanoi government's policies are seen by many as efforts to assimilate and marginalize the unique identity of the Dega people. In conclusion, the Hanoi government's claim to the Central Highlands is built upon a framework of historical governance, legal statutes, and a narrative of national development. This perspective is contested by the Dega people, who advocate for recognition of their indigenous rights and autonomy over their ancestral lands. The ongoing dispute reflects broader themes of identity, sovereignty, and governance in the region. The Role of the Central Highlands Organization The Central Highlands Organization, CHO, plays a pivotal role in articulating and advocating for the rights of the Dega people, who have long asserted their claim over the Central Highlands region in East Asia. Established with the primary goal of raising awareness about the cultural, historical, and territorial significance of the Central Highlands to the Dega, the organization operates on multiple fronts to ensure that their voice is heard on both national and international stages. One of the key actions undertaken by the CHO is the organization of advocacy campaigns aimed at educating the global community about the plight of the Dega people. These campaigns often include public forums, seminars, and workshops that highlight the historical context of the Dega people's relationship with the land. By utilizing digital platforms and traditional media, the CHO seeks to disseminate information and generate support from various international human rights organizations, academic institutions, and sympathetic governments. In addition to awareness raising, the CHO actively engages in diplomatic efforts to bring attention to the Dega people's claims in international forums. By participating in conferences and events in Washington DC and elsewhere, the organization aims to establish alliances with other indigenous and minority rights advocates. This is essential for amplifying their message and garnering broader support for their cause. Moreover, the CHO is committed to documenting the cultural heritage and historical narratives of the Dega people. This documentation serves not only as a resource for education but also as evidence to support their claims. By compiling research, testimonies, and historical records, the CHO builds a comprehensive case that counters the narratives propagated by the Hanoi government, 
thereby strengthening the Dega people's position in the ongoing dispute over land ownership. The organization's strategic use of social media has also proven effective in mobilizing grassroots support. Through campaigns that encourage the Dega community to share their stories, the CHO cultivates a sense of unity and empowerment among the people. This grassroots engagement is crucial in showcasing the lived experiences of the Dega, further legitimizing their claims to the Central Highlands in the eyes of the international community. In summary, the Central Highlands organization plays a multifaceted role in advocating for the Dega people's rights. Through awareness campaigns, diplomatic engagement, documentation of cultural heritage, and grassroots mobilization, the CHO is dedicated to ensuring that the Dega people's claims are recognized and respected on a global scale. Their efforts are instrumental in challenging the prevailing narratives and asserting the legitimacy of the Dega people's connection to their ancestral lands. The International Perspective The ongoing dispute over the ownership of the Central Highlands is not solely a local or national issue, it has garnered attention on the international stage, particularly with the upcoming meeting organized by the Central Highlands Organization in Washington, D.C. This meeting aims to raise awareness about the claims of the Dega people and their assertion that they are the rightful owners of the land. The international perspective on this matter is critical, as it can influence diplomatic relations, human rights discussions, and global indigenous rights movements. Internationally, the discourse surrounding indigenous rights is gaining momentum, with various organizations advocating for the recognition of indigenous populations and their claims to ancestral lands. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, UNDRIP, serves as a foundational framework that supports the rights of indigenous communities to maintain and strengthen their distinct political, legal, economic, social, and cultural institutions. The meeting in Washington, D.C., presents an opportunity for the Dega people to align their narrative with global indigenous rights frameworks, potentially garnering international support. Furthermore, the geopolitical implications of this dispute cannot be overlooked. The central highlands of Vietnam hold significant ecological and economic value, making them a focal point for both national interests and international stakeholders. The involvement of the Central Highlands Organization in the upcoming meeting indicates a strategic effort to appeal to foreign governments and human rights organizations, seeking to place pressure on the Hanoi government. This could lead to increased scrutiny of Vietnam's policies regarding the Dega people, impacting its international relations. The international community's response to the claims made by the Dega people will likely shape the future discourse surrounding the Central Highlands. If the meeting successfully highlights their plight and garners substantial support, it could lead to a shift in how the Hanoi government is perceived and treated on the global stage. This represents a critical juncture where international advocacy can play a role in influencing local governance and potentially altering the dynamics of power within Vietnam. In conclusion, the upcoming meeting in Washington, D.C., serves as a pivotal moment for the Dega people in their quest for recognition and justice. By framing their claims within the broader context of international indigenous rights, they hope to attract global attention and support, which could have profound implications for both the Central Highlands and the Hanoi government. The international perspective is thus not only a lens through which the dispute can be understood but also a potential catalyst for change. Conclusion future implications. The resolution of the dispute over the ownership of the Central Highlands has significant implications for the Dega people, the Hanoi government, and the broader region. Acknowledging the Dega people's historical and cultural ties to the land could empower them and promote their rights as indigenous inhabitants. This recognition could lead to greater autonomy and self-determination, allowing the Dega people to manage their resources and preserve their cultural heritage. Conversely, if the Hanoi government maintains its claim, it may further exacerbate tensions between the state and the indigenous population. This could result in increased unrest and resistance from the Dega people, potentially leading to a cycle of conflict that undermines social cohesion in the region. Furthermore, the international community's response to this dispute may influence how similar indigenous rights issues are addressed worldwide. 
In a broader context, the resolution of this dispute could set a precedent for indigenous land rights debates in East Asia and beyond. If the Dega people's claims are recognized, it may encourage other marginalized groups to assert their rights, fostering a global movement toward recognizing indigenous sovereignty. Conversely, Failure to acknowledge these claims may perpetuate systemic injustices and marginalization. Ultimately, the future implications of the Central Highlands dispute will hinge on the actions and responses of various stakeholders, including the Dega people, the Hanoi government, and the international community. A balanced and equitable resolution could lead to a more harmonious coexistence, while unresolved tensions may continue to hinder development and peace in the region.